Well, greetings and Happy New Year on 2021. Epiphany is celebrated on January 6th this year. January 6th is a Wednesday. And for many of us in this part of the world, that day just kind of passes us by. Uh, partly because a lot of us have our decorations already packed away. Um, things are back to some kind of normal routine. And the Christmas stations have returned to top 40 hits or something. But now, of course, in our world, in our faith world, we recognize an extremely important time in Epiphany. It is the marking the revelation of God in Christ Jesus. And on that day, we hear the story from Matthew chapter 2 of the visit to the wise men. And as you know, probably our lessons that we use at Christmas and the carols and the stories that we hear are a combination of Luke and Matthew and the Gospels put together uh, to make a story that uh, becomes more complete for us with the visit of the wise men and the star and the shepherds. They're not contained in all the Gospels. So here we have that time of revealing, revealing of God uh, incarnate in the flesh in Jesus. The wise men, uh, it says, uh, are coming from the east and they travel to Jerusalem and they talk to Herod. Herod, the ruler of the, of the area uh, under the occupation of the Romans, he is the given authority over this region and he has complete and total and very brutal um, ruling in this area. In Matthew 2, it uh, describes that story. It is odd, it seems, that they should come to Herod knowing very well what the story says about this king who would be born king of the Jews. Because surely as wise men, they would realize that it would not be terribly welcome um, news to Herod. But yet, they charge on in and say, where is he was born king of the Jews? Herod, of course, is not excited of this news gathers his chief priests and the scribes around him and says, what, is, what does it say? Where is, where is this king supposed to be born? And of course, tell him from Micah, it is Bethlehem. And so, having heard this, Herod decides to encourage them to get his own means um, satisfied by finding the child, and ultimately, as you know, he will want to destroy him. Herod asks the um, religious leaders where to find him, and of course they tell him Bethlehem, and off they go. And of course, then Herod will follow, uh, wanting to destroy this child. The Magi, of course, are foreigners. It says they are from the east, probably Mesopotamia, Arabia, uh, somewhere. We're not sure exactly where, but we are told that they are people who had have looked to the stars to find meaning. And as you might remember back on uh, December 21st, we had uh, a phenomena that has not happened for centuries. It is that alignment of Jupiter and Saturn, which then was called the Christmas star this year. An amazing event. I know in our area, most people couldn't see it, but the videos and the Images that came from that are just amazing what that looked like. They would have been very interested in this particular phenomena, would it have occurred in their time. So the account of the Magi is most striking for the faith they exhibit in the ancient writings from Micah and the symbol to them of the star. They fought, uh, sought the Christ child in a place that made sense to them at first, Jerusalem. Because where else would you look for a king but in the place of authority and the most dynamic and large and important place like Jerusalem. 
But no, they discover it is to be in Bethlehem. As the Christ child was revealed to the shepherds and the wise men, we can now play a part in our own lives in revealing the Christ child to others in our orbit. In this new year, look at ways in your own life today on your to-do list. How can you reveal the Christ child to others that you meet? How will that happen in your life? Do those things that you do, do they reveal Christ to others? Whatever it may be. Today, I encourage you to find one action, one area of your life where you can intentionally bring a gift to the manger. A kind word, an offer of prayer for others that you know, an action that lifts someone up from their current burden. Let God use you as the wise men were used to give glory to God, to this newborn king. Let us pray. Gracious God, today, as we prepare again to celebrate this Christmas season in on Epiphany, remind us of the gifts that you have given us, the gift of the Christ child, the gift that we can now share with others to reveal yourself to the world. And in his name we pray. Amen. God's peace.